What is up, everyone? Welcome to February edition of Let's Pick a Patreon by Roll If You Got Them. I'm Carl, and as always, joined here with Dakota. Hi, everybody. Yo. Um, so real quick, we didn't do a January episode. Uh, two reasons. One, we both went to the Las Vegas Open for an Ice and Fire tournament. So any spare time we kind of had last month, we were getting practice games in, trying to iron out lists, packing for flight from Ohio to Vegas, a lot of moving parts. So an episode didn't get done. And second reason is I kind of accidentally didn't cancel December's epic Patreon subscription in time. So I just kind of did January's. So I was like, well, okay, cool. Um, Because last month, or December, we did it real late because some of the Patreons just kind of roll out things as the month goes. So we've been trying to find a balance here. So we think what we're going to do going forward is part one and part two. Part one will be today where there are, I don't know, 5, 10, 15, 20, maybe like 20 to 25 Patreons we're going to take a look at. We're going to narrow this down to less than half, probably 10, 6, 7. And then we're going to come back and look at these again uh, the last week of the month and pick a final one there. Um, we, we think that's what we're going to do going forward. It's, it's kind of, you know, because there's been times where, like, we get to the end of the month and we're like, damn it, like, Asgard Rising, rising like, wish we'd have done that this month. But at the same time, I don't want to wait until the end of the month to pick one. Uh, so we're, we're trying to find a happy place here. So we're thinking, hey, maybe we break this down into two segments and, uh, and see what's up. All right. Uh, so without further ado, Speak of the devil, we have Asgard Rising. Um, this is a $10 a month Patreon. Their header here, I think this is just their starter package, right? I feel like... The yep, that is their welcome package. Yes, which, these trees are dope, but... The, the guy on the far right might not be in the welcome pack. That might be something new. Uh, Yeah, maybe it's something that just got added. We'll take a look mm-hmm. here. Um, welcome pack. Show more. All this stuff. I'm not seeing that dude. Is this guy? I am not. That rider was definitely not in there before. I can tell you that. Yeah, he's not up top either. So, hmm. Uh, that's pretty. That's that's a good looking unit right there. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, we got some anniversary models. This package will be systematically monthly enlarged. Not sure what that means. Okay. Uh, is this what we're looking for for February? Okay. So here we go. This is oh, this is February giant giant stone troll. I mean, pretty awesome. Um, very single large miniature. Yes. So. I like the runes that are kind of carved into some of the stonework here. Mm-hmm. Um, well, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in more. No. Okay. Uh, the tree roots, the, this, this thing, this thing's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that is a very cool, uh, take on a troll too, where like the trees are growing out of the back of it and everything. Before we get started, what are we looking for this month? So, oh, uh, looking for, you know, I'm not sure what we're looking for. I don't think there's anything that I have, uh, like my eyes set on where I'm like, okay, that's something cool. Right. Um, we've considered getting into some ninth age, which I didn't really know about until now, but the game doesn't have its own miniatures. It's just like, Hey, here's miniatures that we think represent this theoretical model. Well, or figure, or whatever it is. That's really cool. Uh, so, definitely looking to add some diversity to the STL collection. Along with, um, we still have the merchant ship D&D session going right now. So, obviously, anything in that 
uh, merchant ships, pirates, anything in that realm is mm -hmm. obviously a, a nice little thing here. All right, so February 6th. So this was two days ago. Um, is that all we have from Asgard's Rising for February, it looks like? It does. That looks like the same troll. Yes, uh, January, February stone troll. Bonus January, February terrains. Hmm. Also, maybe you do get this guy this month too. Maybe. Maybe whatever their last, because they're they're the they're the worst ones at doing like the here's some stuff, here's some stuff here, and throwing like four or five drops. Maybe they're carrying over their last drop each month into the next month. Maybe that that would be a uh, that would be something smart for them. What is what are those guys? Elephants. That's and they cool. dropped on the 30th, yeah. 30th, right. January minis part one. Trolls. Tundra trolls. How is that part one on January 30th? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That's certainly my biggest uh, pet peeve thus far with, um, with Asgard's Rising. Because they have really good stuff. Mm -hmm. And just haven't had the heart to back him yet because I kind of like to know what I'm getting. When you have Epic throwing you on the third, like, here's 150 models. It's like, okay, thank you. Yeah, and, it, and it's hard to pick, too, when you basically they drop it on the last day of the month to be like, okay, this is the decision I'm making, and you have to do it quick, and you have to do it on that day, basically. Or you miss out on an entire month. Or you accidentally overlap into two months. Right. Um... It'd be great if they were, like, one month ahead of time where, like, that thing on the 30th was the next month. Like, if they just got themselves a month ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, obviously, they're, they'll are they make the cut for uh, coming back here in a few weeks. And just to, just to see, we're still trying to find, like, how do they progress? Like, mm -hmm. I feel like we've, go, you know, you can go back and look a few months and it's like, uh, I don't really know. Okay, next up, Red Clay Collectibles. So these guys are newer in the game. This is a 10-month uh, subscription here. What do we got here? Uh, okay, so they're $25, like their merchant. Um, there's still eight of these remaining. So, like, the merchant deal, um, saving 10 bucks a month, which, I mean, that's kind of big if you're only selling a few. But mm -hmm. uh, these are the guys that had the quite you know the their welcome pack is not up to par with the things that they're currently putting out like this stuff looks sweet this whole yeah. this whole month is uh tentacle folk i don't know what you would call mm -hmm. these octa people um yeah they're like octopus octa people and who's the either evil... like mayan they look like mayan octopus people yeah who's the uh, the evil chick from Little Mermaid, Ursula, I think. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ursula's kinfolk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we got some mermaids that are uh, yeah. putting on a show. Yeah. That fish. I mean, those. Are, mm -hmm. That uh, I mean, these are definitely really cool models. Um. And a great theme. I'm not sure where they would fit in. Like, I mean, game-wise, I mean, obviously this is, a, like, a if you somehow have, like, a and d underwater campaign going. Mm -hmm. For sure, you could. This is, this could definitely be one. I mean, I don't know how that would work from, like, running it standpoint, because you have to be underwater for I'm, oh, ever. There's, oh, there's, uh, it's there. It's, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the, uh, these are great looking models. Actually, they, they are very cool looking, yes. I am very excited for hearing about six, eight months, maybe a year when these guys phase in essentially a whole new welcome pack. Uh, mm -hmm, yeah. Because we'll, um, do they have easy pictures for their welcome pack here? Uh, j once again, January is very good. Um, some, uh, Busty, breasted women, which 
I don't know. I don't. I don't know how good I'd be at painting boobs. Just flesh tones. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get that shading right. Okay, we're not gonna go too far into the uh, boobs on a miniature here. That's that's a different episode. Um, <laughs> sea knolls. Why? Wow, when were these? December. I don't remember seeing these. Do you? Um, I do not. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, I do remember seeing do you? these. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those once again quite awesome. Um, I'm trying to find their starter. Their welcome pack here. Yeah, I remember. This I think that's it. Yeah. Uh. So their their welcome pack is this down here. These um, nah, I can't zoom in on it. These uh. Turtle Aztec looking folks. The 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 detail has gotten way better for these guys. Mm -hmm. Um. Yep. Hopefully. Every month or so, they just pull a thing or two out of a monthly pledge, throw it into a welcome pack, and kind of, kind of grow out of that original one. I would be very excited for that. Um, like if this was their welcome pack here, up top here, much more appealing. Yes, definitely. Much more appealing. I, as cool as these are, I just don't think I'm interested in them this month but red clay miniatures keep it up out there i'm i'm excited for the future of these guys i think but, <laughs> but for now we will eliminate red clay yes all right next artisan guild um <laughs> one thing artisan guild if you could post pictures please because if I play your video here and I post it to YouTube, I get the dumb little uh, you're stealing someone's music flag on my video. Not that hardly anyone's watching, but not the point. Um, but I had it happen once. Okay, what do we got here? Minotaur folk, Minotaur folk. Ah, oh, go back. Um, more Minotaur folk. The, the, they're pretty cool minotaurs. I mean, these are like beastmen looking mm -hmm. dudes. I mean, like if I was running like a beastmen army, um, yeah, I mean, I would the, definitely uh... be like throwing these guys in. I mean, they got different weapons. I mean, they got some chariots going on. Um, got chariots, slings, melees. Um... Style wise, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the style of them. They're like kind of cartoony. I mean, that's just me. I like more like the realistic. You know, yeah. I mean, gritty. I shouldn't say realistic, but when you get kind of like the, uh, it's like the faces, like the cartoony yeah. faces. How dare you ask for realism in your <laughs> tiny plastic people? I know. Um, yeah, and, no, and it's that's... not, it's not the, it's not the scale either. I know because some of it's like the uh, cartoon or what's it called, like heroic scale. It's not the heroic scale. Yeah, I see that. Holy crap! I was mm -hmm. like, like, and I feel like all of their female characters. I mean. Minotaur people, sure, give them giant wide hips, but I feel like all of their females have like giant wide hips, which they look great. It's just not my art style. That's a pretty cool miniature. That is, right there. The, uh, it's like the Wall Street Bull. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It would make for like a great statue. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, looks like they got some kit bashing options. Yeah, I mean. It's cool, especially considering the uh, Ninth Age um, that we're, we're yeah. kind of looking at getting some beast folk in there. Um, yeah, it just depends on what they could be yeah. used Ten as. Like, I know that they use beast folk and stuff like that, but they have different levels. Like, are those heavily armed ones or are those just, like, basic dudes? Or, right. You know, what? What do we have for... Uh, a starter set. Do we know? Um, I'm not seeing it. I am not sure. Everybody, put your starter sets on on all your monthly post. Yeah, yeah. Put your monthly post with your uh, welcome package. Yes, monthly post with welcome package. Um. Okay. I'm not gonna eliminate them just yet. Maybe by the end I of the think... episode. But not I think yet. they could. I could. I think they could definitely stay in the hunt for this part Especially two. Especially with us digging a little more into this ninth age thing. Mm -hmm. Titan Forge. This is a ten dollar month. 
uh, just Artisan Guild was also ten dollars. I don't know if we mentioned that or not. You know, so ten dollars a month. Um, Red Leaf Elves this month it looks like. Okay. Okay. Getting some like wood elf action going on. Uh, do this month. Let's see what we got here. Hey, look right there. Welcome pack. I, big fan. Not a not a terrible welcome pack. Um, actually, I mean it's pretty good actually. I mean, should, we, should we, say. we know what it is, right? You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. yeah. And I think this is kind of like their hero pack, which also comes... So, uh, I think Cripple God he... Foundry kind of did the same thing. They have, like, a hero pack and a welcome pack. All right, what do we got this month? Redleaf Elves. Uh, not... We got uh, not a... Woodland Dragon-looking elf. Uh, mm -hmm. Centaur-looking dudes and dudettes um uh what's this called in the witcher oh uh that's i think it's kinda, different than kind of like a tree monster thing mm -hmm. yeah um winged elf chick some alpha a leshen yeah leshen thank you yep that's yeah, kind it's kind of like that um do we have a better picture here mm. There you Let's go. Let's try this one. Oh, they could, yeah, there you go. Can I zoom? No. If you go next, it looks like there's about 20 pictures. Um, yeah. A couple of, uh, maybe some NPCs or some player characters down here. Yeah, mm -hmm. much, much better picture here. Uh, wolf, wolf with their druid. Oh, lots of, uh. Lots of, like, archers and yeah. spearmen, so that's. Holy hell, how big is that? That's a pretty big looking wall right there. We can probably find it in the description. It looks mm -hmm. quite enormous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. Oh, okay, like tree centaur looking dude. Or you think it's like wood armor? No, I think it's like uh, I think it's like wood armor. Made of wood. I think I think it's wood armor. You think it's wood armor? Okay. It looks like it's it's like lashed on there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, then right. you got some like basic like some archer looking bunch of different poses. Yeah, I mean they're pretty cool. Pile of melee option, pile of spear options. Are these like the same faces and such? Just with They the... might be. They might be. They definitely yeah. might be. Whoops. Pretty cool. Ah, kit bash kind of setups. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. big fan. Um, got one of those out of the first Beastarium that I backed, and I think it was it was before we started doing these. I was a big fan of like some of the cool stuff I could build. Lots mm -hmm. of uh, bases and bases. even like movement trays there for you. Yeah. Um, having circle, pill, oh, pill, oval, and rectangle and square options is awesome, especially when you're playing. Because, like, I, I don't know. Does uh, Ninth Age use base-specific anything? Yeah. Yeah, the bases are the most specific thing that need to be done in that game. And um, so then you need, like, tr like basically flat trades under them. It's more about the model base. Um, and bases are important, and they're all square or rectangle. Okay, so yeah, cool, cool. Uh, okay, some decent looking terrain and a uh, elven hut sort of thing. I don't know. That how looks big massive. It is, but yeah, that yeah. looks massive. With that, if that's a you know mm -hmm. an inch and a half tall model, it is a druid. Titans of Adventures, it says, set 21, a mage, a warrior. Hmm. Hmm. Lots. Pretty interesting little one there. Yeah. Um, if, especially if you were looking for, like, a horde of uh, some elven folk. I mean, you can definitely kit out a like a Dungeon and Dragons elf 
whatever you want there. I mean, you got everything, mm -hmm. especially too because they have so many different like weapons and heads and stuff. Um, you can get bash them up kind of unlimited, limited op, unlimited options. Um, right after you join, you receive nine free RPG hero models each month. Three new heroes will join your fantasy tavern. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Hey, that's an old uh, Baldur's Gate one reference right there. Big fan, big fan. I see they are folks of culture. Um, so it actually looks like those look like they're uh, uh, loyalty ones. But if you go to that hero pack, it looks like you actually get the last three sets. It looks like it, yeah. So even if you do go month to month to month, you'll get uh, uh, you'll kind of stop getting the Titans adventure because you'll already have them from the previous month. But mm -hmm. you kind of just keep adding to it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Interesting. They uh lots of bonuses here too. Monthly contest. Hmm. What do you think? Definitely a contender. I think uh, there's quite a bit of volume there this month. All right. Um. Next one is 3D digital art. A ten dollar a month Patreon here. Uh, the February releases, we got some ice folk stuff here. Uh, she's, they're a little underdressed for the cold temperatures, if you ask me, but. That one to the right is massive. Very massive. If you got the D, what is that, a D10, D12 in front of him? It is a D12, yes. Yeah. Um, very lacking of detail here in whatever mm -hmm. this dude is the mm -hmm. saber tooth looking like here awesome here super flat mm -hmm. kind of the same thing here maybe that's supposed to be what they want or going for maybe um yeah big ice golem looking thing Looks like it's loading up the spinny version of him. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. He's got like some swords and stuff stuck in him. He's wearing mm -hmm. a weird belt thong thing. And a, uh, uh, what's this called? Garter. Garter, yeah. It could be female. We shouldn't judge. Um, no, we shouldn't judge. <laughs> interesting. What do, what do they call it? The Thano Gigantes Coalition. It's a mouthful. Oh, this dude's cool. Your um, basic berserker looking uh, hero. axe wielding, yeah. Nice looking player character. Mm -hmm. Some form of like a druid player character. A couple of hand options in case you want to give him the poker, the punch. Same thing here. Okay, those are pretty cool. I, I think there's something with the flatness of those models. Maybe. I think that it's got to be because like the whole thing is looking like, I mean, super detailed on like the rider and even the saddle yeah. and the. But then when you look at the body, it's flatter. Maybe maybe it's supposed to be like a seal or something like that, like a walrus type body. Maybe. I'll leave it up to artistic representation, I guess. Artist, artistic interpretation. A couple of uh, what we got here? Some like wear saber tooth looking dudes. Mm -hmm. And is it just gonna be the spinny of them? Probably. Oh nope. I skipped again. Uh, all right. A couple of uh player character options. Those dudes. Those dudes. That's everybody. I'm assuming everything just had a spinny option. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Good looking stuff. Uh, the. These guys. 
I am very that... put, I'm very put off by the flatness of them. Even if it was the design they were going for, mm-hmm. personally, I'm not a fan. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too sure. Almost like that flubbery, like, flat, like, swimmy type of thing. I don't know. All the coolness up here, and then the face. The face is great. Mm-hmm. And then it looks like a shaved cat from here down. Yeah. Um, and also have no desire for um, frozen tundra folk right now. No. And also we're talking, you know. Ten dollars a month for five, six for ten models. Nine plus this giant dude, basically. Yeah, and you might not be able to even print him. I mean, depending on what the parts that he comes in, because he's I, he's, ma- he's massive. I can almost be certain I could not print him with my yeah. frozen Sonic Mini, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, no, I would need a much more printage space. Daybreak. Um, we have uh, some eight dollar a month action still. They got eight of these guys remaining, so hurry on over there. Um, get you some of this. Do I just have pictures? I'd rather just have pictures. It's welcome pack. Scroll up. You passed the uh... welcome pack 2.0. Yeah, I was hoping. Yeah. Just... Oh no, they just got video for. All right, let's see what we got here. Even quiet it so I don't get in trouble. Um, not it's a little hard to tell here. We got Knowles. Mm-hmm. Um, there we go. Quality's up. Knowles of various options. Knoll kit bash. Knoll different poses. Yep. Uh, wizard Knoll, sorcerer Knoll, something Knoll riders with. Whatever that thing is, the thing looks sweet. Uh, Knoll with a shield. Another Knoll looking dude. More Knolls. I mean, Knolls are cool. Mm-hmm. I, feel yeah. like, I feel like everyone does Knolls. Like, someone does Knolls every month. Yeah. Yeah, um, you get, like, the Knolls every month, and then you also get, like, Egyptian and Arabian theme every month. Uh, Orc looking bus there. Okay. Let's uh let's check out this new welcome pack that they're bringing us here. I wish it would load. Let me get better here. There we go. Um, what we got here? We got maybe some dragonborn looking dudes, some orcs, some goblins, a uh, knight on horseback. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. That dude, I mean, heavy armor, hammer. Good paladin. Um, large. That could, be a berser- that could be almost like a berserker. Potentially. If you, want, if you want to go for a player character. He's got a little, little few too many skulls to be a uh, player character, but. Good looking. Cool. Yeah, dwarf. great looking dwarf. Um, yeah, could be a PC Dragonborn, an Orc, some form of a Goblin like a, Savage looking yeah, thing. Yeah, got like a bust going on there, some Goblin and a Rider. I like the, uh, I like like these gross bumps and stuff, you could... Mm-hmm. I, uh, it's a nice welcome pack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. It is certainly up there in the welcome packs. Orc hammer wielding some type of like evil paladin looking. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, I clicked the wrong part. Yeah, pretty pretty solid welcome pack. Now, I mean, there's a ton of yeah. ton of things in there. I mean, they threw some busts in there. I'm not a huge fan of the bust. I don't. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, like, I'm just, like this dude is is this dude right here, right? Mm-hmm. Like, this bust yeah. is this dude. 
Yeah. Um, this bust is right below him. Ah, that dude. So I've always thought those would be other than having a display piece, right? Mm -hmm. Would be utilized as like a statue in like a city square kind of thing. Mm -hmm. where like yeah. the, the player characters could see that and then eventually meet the person. Or yeah. if somehow like this dude was like, you know, a big bad dude in the campaign. And then if your players defeat him, you as the DM or whatever, you could almost print this as like a trophy to like, like almost yeah. like a centerpiece for that. Something cool like that. Yeah. Um, outside, like, obviously like that would be so damn cool. Like if you show up to the next session and there's this bust on the table of the big bad dude that like maybe killed one of your players last session. Mm -hmm. Um, outside of that, I don't know if I see a whole lot of use for a bust. No. Yeah. And then even this month, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, like it's a bunch of nulls. It's, uh, that we already looked through. Mm -hmm. So it's just, don't really have a need for them right now. Not sure how I could potentially even try to work them in. Um, without going back and looking at everything off the top of my head, this might these might be the best knolls I've seen so far, though. They, uh, they are great looking. I mean, I'm I I'm not saying anything about the quality. These things look awesome. I don't know what they're writing, but I definitely. I was gonna say the same um, thing. So, I don't know what those are. Those would be cool for like. I mean, I guess you could run these guys if you're running like a, like a chaos type of army, and that's just I don't know, like your interpretation of it. Do you remember in Avatar, right before ah. the like, dude gets separated, mm -hmm. those those things like they had like mm -hmm. that same kind of head. These yep. are sweet. Mm -hmm. These I, I'm not gonna axe these guys just yet because oh, that's fine. if They're... uh. If I can find, I wish I had a few more models, but then again, we've already said there's nulls every month. So if I can mm -hmm. find like a ninth age army I want to run and I can run nulls, like I might get these guys and then a couple months get another set of nulls. Uh, I, I think you could use them as like warriors of like warriors of the dark gods, is what they're called, and throw them in there because I think they need like uh, like marauders and that type of stuff. And who says a marauder isn't doesn't look like that you know yeah no um i mean i yeah i mean they're definitely definitely cool these guys are cool all right next one here rocket pig games this is a nine dial nine dollar uh, nine month or nine dollars a month it looks like is this just uh is it the same thing but um cheaper maybe you two monthly deluxe large miniatures oh with this one Oh, okay, so it's six dollars more. I thought it was only one dollar more. Okay, so yep, here's your and a uh, twenty-five item loot bag. Uh, you get that in this one too. Oh, never mind. It looks like yeah, it just looks like you get um two monthly deluxe large miniatures. Hmm. Probably worth the six bucks. We're talking three dollars a miniature. Let's see what they look like. Uh, hey, big fan. Here's your uh, free loot bag. Right there, mm -hmm. like, love to see it. All right, um, are these Let's probably see. your deluxe large dudes? I I'm not sure. I mean, there's quite a few things that look like you print them. They're gonna be pretty large, like the like you know magic golem. Mm -hmm. Like that's gonna be a large print. Um, everything looks kind of big in there, so I I don't know. Um, I wish I could find some better pictures here. It looks like we have a. Uh... Black Teeth Swarm. Might be like some undead looking dudes. Oh, I gotta find a better picture. Uh, come on. Give me a better picture. Maybe? Maybe? That's not the same thing. No. It might be terrain from this month. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look like there's a better one. Hmm. Hey, uh, Rocket Pig. I need a better picture, man. Mm hmm. Let us zoom in better. Yeah, let me zoom in better. Uh, all right, we'll just open it as another image here. Okay, so um, they have kind of that dark, gritty, borderline grotesque kind of theme pretty consistently, right? I feel like yeah. we don't get heroes out of these guys. We get some pretty awesome-looking villains, though. Um, 
I wish I had other angles of what this dude is because I think he looks cool. Um, get this on video. This uh, dread stalker. Mm -hmm. Uh, flesh feeders. Death dealer. Death tyrant. Yeah, they got some cool stuff going on. Yeah. Um, not what I'm looking for this month, but Rocket Pit Games, I want you to know. Oh, th this is, yeah. I appreciate very much the easy access to your uh, loot, loot, loot bag. Is that what they call it? Your welcome mm -hmm, yeah. package. You know, it's your 25 yep. item loot bag, welcome package. Easy access to it. Uh, same thing as Daybreak. Uh, you know, it's right there. Awesome. But not your month. Keep up the good work, though. Uh, STL Miniatures. We have a, an $11 a month here. Um, paint maker set, shoemaker. These guys, yeah, these guys lean pretty hard into, like, the merchants and, um... Like, these sets. Like, you get, yeah. like, a couple miniatures and then, like, your, like, shop equipment. Like, that... That slave merchant set's pretty cool. That has some serious play in our current. Uh, that's uh, that's what I was campaign. thinking. Our current, <laughs> I just, our current I, campaign is um, they work on a merchant potentially mer uh, slave. merchant mer merchant ship with live goods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, there's some interesting stuff there. Um, I like this dude. This dude's got a mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. he's kind of cool looking. Even the dude behind him. I mean, I know he's chained up and shackled to the yeah. left. He's pretty cool looking. And some little torture racks and whatnot. Okay. Um, awesome welcome pack. We've talked about their welcome pack before. Yeah, it's multiple sets. Tons of cool of... stuff. The executioner set is. I mean, guillotines are always useful, right? Like. Mm -hmm. Even just like okay, you go into a town, maybe you have like a town set up, and you throw a, a guillotine kind of in the square. Like, oh, these people are evil ish. Have they always had a carnival set on their I, welcome pack? I, I believe, don't think so. I believe they have. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, they definitely lean towards the uh, like the sets and like scatter pieces and. Yeah, I mean, where else are you going to find a, a shoemaker? or a, mm -hmm. What's the technical term for these guys? A cobbler? Yes, cobbler. Where else are you going to find a cobbler set? Mm -hmm. not, not, not really anywhere. It's, you know, you're going to paint some painters? This is like a painting section. Like, mm -hmm. It's kind of awesome. The, sla yeah. the slave package is sweet. Um, welcome pack, extra dope. Lots of useful stuff here, you know, fireplace, cauldrons, potions, sexy wizard chick. I um, feel like the, every time I think we look at the set, I feel like this is the set you can you go for when you have a pretty solid collection where you're like, hey, I don't have, mm -hmm. I don't need I don't need anything. I'm not looking for characters. I'm not looking for armies. I'm not, yeah, not looking for like skeletons or anything that's just like that fills a world that more importantly than like stuff mm -hmm. <laughs> like this is what you go through for like that ultra immersion <sighs> but we are young in our printed gene mm -hmm. and um i kind of want armies and uh pcs and npcs and whatnot yeah more or less looking for that big bad evil guy but this is some good stuff. I, I really, mm -hmm. if, 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 yeah, like you said, if you've got a lot of your bases covered, come get you STL miniatures for a month and just, you get all kinds of cool sets. I mean, once again, you, uh, you know, if you're a DM and your players, well, what's in this city? Oh, well, you ask around and you hear there's this and that and that, and there's a cobbler down the street. And you're like, a cobbler? We've never, oh, let's go talk to that guy. He said it for a reason. Mm -hmm. you're, you're like maybe 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 not and then your dm throws a bunch of cool shit like this on the table and you're like okay like we came to play today like or even if you like you walk into like a town square and then you see like a slaver walking through mm -hmm. like you're like okay we're gonna 
check yeah. that out. Like yeah. it, it's okay. just like a visual thing that your DM it almost doesn't have to describe. It's just like I'm following you know, that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna go follow that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, next DM stash. Uh, real quick, we got a shout out on our last video. One of the folks from DM stash can't remember the name off the top of my head. Um, commented on the video. Uh, that they lowered prices, which I don't remember what old prices were, but maybe these are new prices. Uh, nine fifty a month. Um, I'd have to go back and maybe check old videos. Hey, look, I was prepared. Uh, but yeah. Um, and we we mentioned uh, that, and this is something that we bring up quite often. Uh. When it's hard to find your welcome pack, it's hard to back someone when there's all these other places out there that do have a welcome pack slapped right on, you know. Right front and center. Yeah, yeah right front and center. So I think he kind of mentioned, like, hey, that's something we'll take a look at. Uh, so we certainly appreciate that. Um, a lot of times we're not sure if anyone watches our content really at all, but hey. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so let's take a look here. Um, first off, let's talk about the header here. There you go. There's February release right there at the top of the page. Big fan. I don't have to go looking for it. Uh, it kind of looks like some cool stuff, too. Yeah, there's uh, definitely some cool so stuff here. For a nine fifty a month or a, uh, you know, I think, I think their expensive one used to be like 16 bucks or something. I think so. I, I, I don't don't quote me on it. Yeah, I think their expensive one used to be kind of expensive. All right, so what do you get here? Um, one short to mid length. Uh, module campaign five to ten play sessions. Ten play sessions. Shit, that's a that's a year for us. <laughs> short to mid length. That's a that's a full. That's oh, a full. Oh man, I envy you. Um, one uncompressed map of the region. I, okay, like I I'm just gonna throw this out there. This is a twelve ninety nine one. I don't think between nine fifty and twelve ninety nine. I don't think there's a reason to not go a couple bucks more to thirteen bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sometimes usually you see the you get the five e sheets and this stuff, and it's like five or ten bucks more almost, and it's like okay, I don't want to double the price for the silly. Like, I'm not gonna say silly stuff, but like that other stuff. Mm -hmm. But for three three bucks, I, I mean, I'm gonna go in on it. So we have a, a campaign. Which hey, I've I think um, Beastarium gave me part of a campaign once, and I was like, oh look, I'm just gonna grab this little section here, throw it in there. Mm -hmm. Like that's worth three bucks right there. If you get yep. a whole play session for three dollars, let alone a year worth of play sessions. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, one uncompressed map of a whole region in which the respective campaign is set. That's that's awesome. Uh, stat blocks for respective minis to be used in the campaign. Very important. I don't have to go look at stuff. I don't have to make things up. Whatever. Um, highest quality. It's a fifth edition campaign module. I guess that's important to know if you're playing Pathfinder or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. Then your standard, you know, fifty percent discount and all that stuff. Yep. Yep. All right. Let's uh take a look here. So. This is the February pack. I, yes, I, I, I like this guy. That dude is sweet. I mean, he's got like angel wings and a. Uh, he's like, stone. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Um, sunless Strazen. So it's a vampiric looking campaign. So if that mm -hmm. fits into your world or something, maybe uh, if you're running Curse of Strahd and you know, like if you wanted to build like a whole rival to shroud you could probably just grab this dude and plug and play uh skull sword dope um yeah what we got here do we at least have a challenge rating it looks like it's blurry Alpha. maybe a 10 or so it's hard to tell but obviously they're not gonna give you the stats like subscribe spend well you, you got much. you got stats right there yeah. <laughs> well some stats yeah, yeah. um but yeah vampire looking dude here's like a vampire looking looking elder type of well it's yeah elder, but... uh, yeah i was gonna say like a 
like almost a minion esque to the last dude, but this also this is a mm-hmm. double digit challenge number. I can tell that these are both double digits. I don't know. It could be anywhere from one and nineteen. Uh, pretty cool. This dude is a challenge fourteen. Hey, I can see that one. Um, toward the gatekeeper. Yeah, yeah. You keep that uh-huh. gate, buddy. I'm a, I'm gonna find a yeah. different way around. <laughs> right. Um, that's pretty sick looking. Uh, it's a huge elemental, so we're talking fifteen by fifteen feet, give or take. So he's probably a seventy-five millimeter based model. Damn it! Yeah, yeah, he's um, a big guy. Her, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We're just gonna. Keep this rated uh, at least PG-13 here. Um, Dope-looking gargoyle dude. Uh, Yeah. Mm -hmm, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like if you were uh, Duke Strauss. Big big bad evil evil guy right there for you. Man, I feel like if you were running Curse of Strahd or were going to run Curse of Strahd, Especially with, um, we already have the models from the... Arch villain. Yep, the arch villain vampires. You mix these guys in. And then, like, you could... I mean, obviously, yeah, you could just plug and play. You could, you could, you could print home, this off. You like, could hey, home. this is Strahd. Like, cool. Mm-hmm. But, you could home. You could homebrew a pretty... Well, you, if you wanted to use their stuff, but just throwing all these in and a, like your own campaign. If you were like, oh, let's run some vampires, but let's not really run Strahd, per se. Yeah. Or this one. You could, uh, yeah. So what are we get looking at here? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 or it 11, said, maybe 12. It said 10. I think it said 10 on the first one. Okay. Um, yeah, we got some big dudes here. This gargoyle is way bigger than I thought it was. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's pretty big. Quite dope looking. Um, uh oh, what do we got here? We got a little welcome stash post. Where uh, oh, once you okay. Oh, once you join. Okay, go back. Maybe they have it down lower. Let's see it. Okay, that's last month. That's January. Yep. I don't mm-hmm. remember seeing that. A giant ass beholder. Oh, we didn't do I don't January. Either. We didn't do January. Oh, no, we didn't, yeah. That's why we wouldn't have seen it. That's him. why I don't remember seeing any of this stuff. Um, yeah, not... Uh, do we at least it shows that it's there. There's definitely a There's link. definitely a welcome pack. Um, is, it, is it just behind of you actually having to do it? I, I mean, like, you clicked on it and it said, you know, yeah. join, join now to see it. But that looks like a download link. Right, yeah. This is I don't know. Uh, once you uh once you subbed, you'd be able to go here uh-huh. and click yeah. on the cool stuff. Um ten high quality thirty two to seventy five scale. No uh I'm not seeing the welcome pack here. But hey, sounds like they're working on it, so mm-hmm. yeah. maybe March. Um, cool, cool month though. Cool month. Yep. Uh, not, not something I'm looking for right now. No. But it, but if it, I, if it, I was looking for vampires though, this would probably be happening. Yeah, it's definitely to like a campaign set mm-hmm. from what it is. It's not like uh, I'm gonna pick up uh, this and make an army or something. Right. Um, flesh of God miniatures we are looking at a two dollars a month thank you for your support and a ten dollars a month here are some miniatures and the reason that you're here uh well, it looks like these guys are bringing uh quite uh quite, quite the quite, heat quite a few things here uh let's see what we got um this is february this is february we have uh some large bust no couple of large evil dudes cool looking car and some 
stuff. Oh, maybe that's not a bust. That's just a very large... Well, I think... Or is that the miniature and then there is a bust? Probably. I think there's a miniature and then there's a bust, yeah. bust uh, yes. Oh, cool looking pirate chick. This thing. This three-eyed raven-looking-esque mm. thing with yep. legs. Uh, that that th fucking thing. That thing. The stomp it out. Fiddlesticks. Any League mm -hmm. of Legend fans out there? We got Fiddlesticks the miniature. He was always my favorite. I mained Fiddlesticks. Uh, bird cage. Look at ah, See what they did there? I see what you did there. Yeah, mm -hmm. bird carrying the cages. Another bird carrying cages. What do you think they put in them? Tiny people. Uh, this chick's cool. This, like, Viking seer looking chick. Bones and... Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. That dude. Like a king on the skull, an executioner. Okay. Executioner. Solid. Always a fan. Cart with a log. Dead folk being eaten by birds. A little bit of a terrain with birds. Okay, so there's the bust for the yeah. miniature that we saw. There's a bust. Bust. Uh, Van Helsing looking bust. Did we have a miniature for that? Oh, we did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, that's good looking stuff. All right, welcome pack. We have uh, this stuff. Hey, look, they tell you like, hey, this won't be out till later in the month. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Um, starter pack. Less shame, all star, Dark all star Dark pack. Dark, Night Waverin, Chimera. So they're giving you throwbacks oh, yeah. from different months that were they liked, I guess. Yep, throwback pack extra stuff um i really wish we had pictures for any of uh mm -hmm. anything yeah. outside of the february bundle here I, you could if you wanted to i guess look back and do some research because it does tell you yeah. um when does so you could you could figure it out if you were super keen on it um just because I know you can, uh, once you look at their page, you can't actually sort by month and year and all that stuff. Yeah, so they at least, at least throw you some of that. Good point. Um, I would like it all in one place, mm -hmm. but I'm also spoiled, I think, when it comes to the internet. So, uh, yeah, good looking pack. Um, once again, if a lot of your other needs are already met, then this is something. If you're specifically looking for you know, like, oh, I want uh, a king that's, you know, doesn't appear to be much, but he rules with an iron fist kind of thing. Here's your dude. Like, good looking stuff. Flush of God miniatures. Uh, one page rules is a. All right, we got a five and a ten. Um. A rule book, some special it's ten. Stuff. It's ten, ten. It is a ten. Looks like you're getting your miniatures in the ten. Oh, oh yeah. These are just paper. Do they, they must have a game or something. Do they? They do. A, yes. A game each month. They no, they do a one page miniatures does like a forty k knockoff where they took like fifth edition and they like made their own rule set. Oh. Um, kind of like ninth age basically. So we have a. Uh... Aliens, beasts, sci-fi. All right, let's go see what we got here. February painting contest, February release. Okay. Um. Large tiger folk, some ogre folk, some... Samurai. Samurai robots. I don't know. I can't tell. We got more pictures. We can, yeah. We'll see them. That thing's pretty cool. Some Definitely cool. some like beastmen looking. So, uh, some more cat folk look. Not quite, um, not quite knoll looking. Ah, uh, they're mm -hmm. kind of knoll looking. Mm, they look like saber tooths looking. I mean, looking at the two on the left, those look like giant versions. These definitely. I, I think these are kind of cat folky, but like these guys look pretty. 
Mm. Even the guy at the bottom, the two on the bottom right, those two look like gnolls. Yeah, they look kind of gnoll, hyena-ish, so maybe it's a little mix of both. Yeah, well, keep flipping through. They got 44 pictures on here. Oh, wow. Okay, samurai robots. Someone's got to have a place for that at their table. Some mm -hmm. train, some more train, some sci-fi train, more sci-fi train looking stuff. Uh, lots of different face shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. We've talked that we're big fans of that. Some more train. You get dice. You can print your own dice. I'm putting a, I'm putting a bubble inside of them for sure. Uh, more bases, some computer terrain, ships. Uh, that dude again. That thing's pretty sweet. It feels out of place in this set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know where he works himself in here. Yeah, those are like gnolls. If See, those, those are look, definitely like tigers, though. Yeah, those look like cat, lioness. Like these, these, yeah, these are gnollish. Mm -hmm. These are oh, like some type of uh, cyclop, ogre, horned mm -hmm. looking. Those are kind of cool. Yeah, it definitely fits for beast men because I think beast men have like cyclops and stuff yeah. they can use. Large saber tooth looking dudes. Some knoll warthog pumba chariots. I mean, it just looks like Scar 1, right? Like, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. A little Lion King reference for anyone out there. Uh, robot Samurai, some birds, robot, robot thing. More robot mm -hmm. stuff, more robot Samurais with rockets. Uh, you looking for Robot Samurai this month, Dakota? Uh, I, no, no, not really. <laughs> I don't know how they how they work in. I, I, yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah, I like their null half. Mm -hmm. um, they look like a little bit like smaller, more sort of basic humanoid-ish uh, kind of nulls, mm -hmm. but um, welcome pack. We got 25 uh, fantasy models. Let's see if that just jumps out anywhere real quick. I'm not not seeing it. Oh, it doesn't look like it's popping up. People, get your welcome packs out there. Yeah, just like pin the link to like the top. Right. All right. Um, next, we have uh, Lost Kingdom miniatures. Once again, big fan right here. There's your February release. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, if, and... if you knew what you wanted, you click on this page, hey, is that for me? Is that not for me this month? Bing, bang, boom. Yep, and then checking these out, these guys out too, they usually make more like army-esque style stuff, like what they're like incorporating. Like you can build armies with their level, their level stuff. Uh, we got $13. We got 10 models, 5 scenic bases and accessories. Um... February release is this stuff. All right, let's go find it. Um, elvish looking mm -hmm. uh, wolf riders. We have a um. Oh, what the hell am I thinking? Like a Roos Viking looking hat on one of them. They have like some Chinese rockets looking stuff. They're like a Mongolian. Yeah, kind of like Mongolian wolf riding. I can I can see Elf that little uh... things. Mm -hmm. If you were looking for something like that in an army, like <laughs> there's a command group for you with a banner bearer. Yeah, yeah. Then like a oh, he's eating a dude. And like a shaman on the back. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. This is a sacrifice altar? I'm not sure what's going on there. Like, is the rock thing... Is he controlling the rock thing? I don't know. Or maybe... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too sure. Kind of looks like it. But if I'm not, if this is supposed to be... Blood, I don't think that's supposed to be blood. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't know. It's an interesting piece, for sure. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the lightning bolts are a little... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cartoonish. Um, yeah, they don't. They don't seem to fit well. Yeah, 
I mean, they match maybe some of the runes here on, like, this axe-looking thing, hammer, but... Unless those are supposed to be, like, lightning going up the arms. I, I just can't tell. Yeah. Hmm. These guys are cool. <laughs> okay, we got some orcs and goblins loading up a rocket. I'm, I dig it. More Daka needed. Doby the free elf over here. <laughs> Look at the food those are on that guy. Those are super cool. Even look at the detail on the rockets. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's a cool piece. Smile, wait for Flash. Um, those are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Imagine you're like, man, I really want, like, Mongolian elves riding wolves. And they drop this, like, you'd shit your pants. <laughs> be like, yes! Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I hope my needs are never that specific. But uh, like I, I know I, I've checked out Lost Kingdom. If you go to their website, they do a lot of because uh, they do have just like their own website that you can buy models off of. They do more like armies, so you can get like sets for army building, and they're pretty cool. Some of them are off like this, where it's like more standalones, but like those are heroes and stuff. So yeah, I mean it's certainly good looking stuff. Like, mm -hmm, for yeah. Sure. Uh, next we got Beastarium. We have the Man Eaters Part 2. So you'd be butthurt if you wanted this and didn't back Man Eaters Part 1. Um, these guys definitely take the cake each month for the grotesque, villainous, like, uh, remember the big fat evil dude from Spawn? I was thinking of uh, the big fat evil dude from uh, Austin Powers. Yes, that one too. <laughs> uh, yeah. What do we got difference here between ten and fourteen dollars? Um, You're getting your module game supplements. Yeah. Yeah, you get some maps and data slates. I feel like. I feel like I got you're this stuff a... when I backed them, and I'm pretty sure I didn't do the $14. And so... you're getting a discount on my mini factory. Yeah, you get that for the 10 Oh, okay. Never mind. Um... You don't get the welcome pack for $10. Oh, maybe no, you do. You, you do. You do. You, you highlight it right there. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, you're just, you're just getting the campaign module and the 5B supplement. Alright, um, the welcome pack, the welcome pack's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you for putting it right here. We yep. Appreciate that. Um, okay. Yeah, big grotesque looking, uh, Siege Flesh Glutton. Yep. Um, Lone Heroes, Volume 3, Flesh Hunters, uh, Very fleshy. Giant, <laughs> Berserkers. Giant Bone effigy berserkers mounted flesh guards war leader hungry flesh light i mean uh hungry lord <laughs> A avatar the carnifage i mean it's carnifage. a it's a yeah, cool looking model mm -hmm. um and then manhunter so we got someone pulling a couple of uh savages on chains it's cool. Pretty cool. I mean, they mm -hmm. are cool. gorgeous models. I've printed um, a handful of their stuff. I, li I know there are some of them within reaching distance of me right now. I don't know where, though. But, um, yeah. If you were looking for that grotesque sort of theme, like these are your dudes probably like month in and month out. Especially mm, yeah. if you like painting gory, bloody stuff. Um, Drunken Dwarf. $5 a month. Mm -hmm. um, oh, the Merchant tier probably just lets you sell some of their stuff, I'm assuming. So for 5 bucks a month, you're getting 4 to 5 miniatures, it says. Yeah. Um, so this is, the, this is the month. I mean, it's a small, small one that they do here. Mm-hmm. If you were looking for some sort of steampunk thing, uh, we are not. It is good-looking stuff. 
these are a little on that cartoony side, kind of our same mm -hmm. complaint as Artisan Guild. Um, yeah. But yeah. Uh, welcome pack. Mm. Welcome pack, which includes five miniatures, props, constructor of Greek ruins. Probably somewhere. Not too sure where. Oh, so this is last month, like. Once again, steampunky stuff. Um, December was Dark Forest, so they're chaining together like two months here. Mm -hmm. um, but compared to a lot of these other guys, like, you know, I really feel like uh, if I were to back them, I'd be like, man, I, you know, I, you can't give me 11 models. They're, 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 uh, in their defense, I will defend them a little bit. It's five bucks, so it's not, not That's terrible. Good That's a good point. I was thinking 10 in my head. You're right. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Nice little so, su I mean, supplemental one or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Welcome pack. Welcome pack. Welcome pack. Not seen. Not seen it. it. Yes. Uh. Drunken dwarf. Five bucks. But not looking for steampunky. Puppets war. Miniatures. Um. If this is your February, we'll see. If so, good job putting it on the header. Um, only have a ten dollar a month option. Uh, pack current monthly release. Oh, welcome pack forty percent discount, five percent at their actual store. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Is this this month? Mm -hmm. Yep. Looks like it. Yeah. Um, I think there, if you scroll down, there was a sliding picture where you could zoom in on. Oh, was there? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, it's a little further. Right there. Yes. Okay. There we go. Um, you're kind of getting. I was gonna say two different factions, but maybe not. You're getting uh. Eh, maybe I'm not. Sure, maybe four. I they're mean, those are definitely like. They're definitely those, I mean, leaning into like the sci fi. Those are. So those are like. Whatever. Those are definitely like Space Marines. Yeah, I mean, we'll yeah, say. I'm not sure what these guys are. The first set is like Tyranids or something, like some monsters. I don't know. And these guys are. You got some like orcs. Those look like they'd be orcs. Yeah. So, I mean, you got some. And then the other ones, those next guys, these guys are different. They're like vampire-looking dudes. I mean, more orcs. A bunch of flying. Everything is basically like a flying set, like jetpacks and whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's got to be like uh, a looks... half-ass-looking Mandalorian helmet. Yeah, it's got some orcs. Kit bash I mean... option. Always a big fan of a kit mm -hmm. bash option. Yeah, you actually, I mean, a bunch of different heads, bodies, faces. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure about those guys. The, the orcs and I mean it looks like it's good looking stuff. If this is what you were looking for, mm -hmm, yeah. it'd be great. Mm -hmm. Anyone watching who's looking for uh Taskmaster uh Space Marines, here you go. Mm hmm Um Yeah, not bad. Yeah. It's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Ten dollars a month. Um, did we see a welcome pack? It must have been last month, January. Yeah, that's January. So no welcome yeah. pack. Uh, no, not seeing it. But it, they, they, they're pretty straightforward on their month. Mm -hmm. So cool. Cast and play. This is a, what do we got for 9 verse 13? Uh, you get a starter pack. You get the new collection. So for 13 bucks, you get the throwback month. Uh, you get a 5e module also. So this is probably worth the $4, but if you had already backed that month, it's kind of nice that you're not paying for it twice, and you can just go ahead and get you a $9 yep. package instead. 
you're also just getting yourself two. You get the DM handouts and trinkets, two special models. I'm not sure what the two special models are. Oh, you, yeah, you get, you get the D, DM handouts and trinkets for nine. You do not get the 5e module. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, a nice array of. I hate that these things don't let me zoom in like that. Um, like some some, some NPCs, potential player character options, probably NPCs. Um, lots of terrain stuff within a, mm -hmm. you know, a fancier establishment or something. Uh, lots of different base options. Um, a royal griffin. So yeah, so if there was like a big uh, potential like a party or a ball or something coming up in your campaign, like you could certainly grab this this pack to have mm -hmm. some cool terrain and NPCs and such gallivanting around. Uh, here's your throwback. Uh, let's zoom in. Cool. Um, nope. Got some. Looks like some knights, which is cool, and some. Uh, yeah. Some... Scatter pieces. You kind of got a lot going on in this throw pack. Throwback. Scatter pieces. Um. Different. Base, or these might just be uh yeah f like tiles like dungeon tile mm -hmm. kind of stuff yeah um here's uh oh we've talked about these guys before so like mm -hmm. if this was your player character right like you liked this as a player character like this is like levels one through three this is like mm -hmm. levels four through six yeah mm -hmm. yeah I, I do remember seeing these before um they give you that's a few just different poses for that character. So you have, you have like two of these cool progression type options, which would be pretty sick if you could find a character that they offered that fit what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, some um, Doctor Strange cloaks, some potions, some uh, yeah tournament tents, they call them, NPCs, town folk. I like the throwback more than I do the... Uh... I, yeah, I was about to say so. I, the throwback's pretty good. Granted, the throwback is, you know, this is probably some of the coolest stuff to come out of this month. This is probably some of the mm -hmm. stuff to come out of this month. So it really lets you cherry pick and throw together something that's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, once again, if that uh, that ball or, you know, this was something that was happening in your campaign be awesome to have minis for it uh butlers and servers and magicians and a griffin uh lots of props cool feast table that i'm sure no one no none of the players would ever find because you used to flip over because players aren't jerks all the time dungeon walls and dungeon tiles yep lots of cool and stuff bases. um Obviously, not something we're going for this month, but it's good Maybe. looking stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Clay cyanide miniatures. Uh, looks like we're having a Celtic mythology month. Um, we have a nine and a ten dollar option and a seventeen dollar option. Um, new monthly models thirty. You get a welcome pack. Um, new monthly models welcome pack. Access to cross promo pack. Uh, you get a throwback pack, back access to monthly pack, I'm not even sure what that is, um, all models will be in one link only, that's something I wanted to bring up, uh, I think it was when I was downloading the Epic stuff, it was, the way that they did it, and, and this was, you know, uh, over a month ago now, so I hardly remember, but the way that they did it was, um, very easy, very easy, and I feel like it was kind of something like this. Like, you'd only have to download one thing, and you got, like, that whole set's worth of models, and it was very nice. Um, what is, oh, this is just a, oh, okay, that's what, it's the same thing. This one's just a dollar cheaper um, until the next 20 of them get filled. Gotcha, okay, so... 
we got going on? January loyalty incentives, February release. Here we go. Um, sweet snake monster sea. with legs looking thing. It's got a sea monster or something, yeah. Uh, monkey monk. Mm -hmm. Monkey fighter. Another monkey fighter looking thing. Um, or there's your Celtic mythology. Savages. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, maybe some form of like trolls or. I wonder if these are if this is like an actual person from Celtic mythology. I have, I have no idea. This Odin looking dude. Hmm. I feel like these are probably actual mythological people. Uh, a water leaper. Some like myth mythological beast. Oh, that's cool. That is actually pretty cool. Miniature one, right there. One with the horse. Horsey that's tur been turned inside out. A knucklevi, knucklevi. Cool looking character with a bust. Another cool looking character, probably. Nope, not with the bus. A uh, cool dwarf, halfling looking. Uh, gnome. Yeah. Gnome, yeah, gnomes. Oh, he's got like a little bomb, a little bomb thrower, like them things that you launch tennis balls mm -hmm. for your dog. That's pretty good. Quite a few of these guys. Yeah, enough to basically make seven dwarves. Um. That's a cool looking model, especially if you mm -hmm. had uh, different like kinds of resin, and you could print this in like a blue translucent sort of resin. Uh, a couple of player character options. Um, yeah, that's it. Was that it? I think I so. I don't. Off of it or... Yeah. Well, maybe not. Just shows better versions of these guys. Oh, little gnomes working on a wall, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Be a cool little piece to have. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's not too looking. bad. A lot of diversity in there. Yeah. Um. I'm not seeing this welcome. digging for it either uh yeah it's good looking stuff not something i'm gonna do this month but good looking um cobra mode miniatures this is a ten dollar a month option um you get this month's stuff uh three throwback minis um a welcome bonus which is currently five models which will increase by one each patreon goal so they're still growing mm-hmm um, custom bases, 50% off my mini factory. Uh, you get your 5e stats stuff with the basic package here. Um, do you have photos or just the video? Um, all right. Let's see here. We have uh, four miniatures i feel like we've seen these miniatures before a bunch of cool bases mm -hmm. you get stats for each one i don't even remember seeing that one on there maybe that's just a picture of these for example a bunch of cool bases bamboo you have like a little bridge looking thing a lantern square options for everything a little Scatter piece. yeah a little pavilion looking thing is this the uh welcome pack this is the welcome pack hey look um another five models and some bases okay uh 740 Patreons. I'm not going to lie, that number is a little surprising. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it, 
it's not bad looking by any means. Yeah, it's not bad looking. It's it's not really my style. It's not, it's not, my not style. a lot. It's um, not a lot going on that I'd want to uh, personally uh, Patreon for. The, uh, I mean, the bases are kind of the highlight of this thing here. Yeah. Interesting. Cobra mode, ten bucks. Um. Yeah, I mean, not my style, definitely not my theme, but, I mean, you're not getting taken off the list for it. Uh, Heroes and Beast Miniatures. This, uh, I know we were talking before that this might be a new one, might not, not sure. Um, if this is their February, lots of kit bashing options. It kind of looks like we have some, uh, underwater fantasy and then some I mean there's like a legitimate crescent wrench here so something a little more modern if you will um we have a four dollars and a ten dollars a month options uh you get one throwback mini you get four monthly classic minis you get the welcome pack emeralds and Two monthly swap minis plus thirty parts each. So I'm assuming like it's like this is a mini right here, and these are uh, all the options for it. And that then, looks. The right hand side is the month, I believe. And then this is a mini here, mm -hmm. and these are all the options for it. Well, when it says swap minis, I'm guessing the one on the left is for the uh, next level up. It says swap mini. Two monthly swap minis. Or maybe both of those are. Four monthly classic minis. So that's probably... Oh, uh, those guys in the center. Oh, yeah, they're labeled right there. Emerald. And then... Oh, they got the gems on them. They got the gems on them. Hey, good job. Hey, Dakota. good for good, good job for them, too. For Now that we've looked at it and put it together, we Oof. know what we're getting. Hey, everyone out there. Look, so this is what we're talking about. There's some gems on the models. This is what they're referring to. Okay. So, Emerald Classic. You get these four. Probably you actually add. get five. You get that lizard oh, yeah. guy. You get these five, as is. Um, the Ruby, you probably get all of the options here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, if I want these, I'll give you the six extra bucks for all the options. Yeah. Sure. Um... February 8th, February 8th, okay. Kind of looks like we just got a few pictures here. I mean, it's cool looking. I wish I was getting, um, you know, 10 different poses and models and, mm -hmm. you know, bigger, badder looking ones, kind of dudes. So this totally looks like, uh, you don't watch Rick and Morty. No. It was like an episode last season where like just randomly like some half-ass looking like Aquaman character shows. I don't, I barely remember, but him and Rick had a big beef. He looked like that guy. These dudes are cool. These Tinkerer, mm -hmm. Dwarven, um, thing. All right, here we go. Artificers, artificial, artificers. Yeah, I'm thinking of like the, uh, remember like going to the Dwarven ruins in Skyrim? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You had stuff like this running around. I mean, it's cool. Uh, and then this way you are kind of getting, you know, Multiple. a handful of different models, basically. You have a shark option. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, even this dude, you could get... Multiple. Multiple. Uh, yeah. Multiple versions out of him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um... That's kind of cool. It, like, if you were looking for any one of these models, it uh, it might it might be worth your uh. There we go. I mean, yeah, if you were looking for to make like a dungeon or whatever out of fish frog looking people or these uh mermaid looking folk or whatever, like this could be worth your uh your time here. 
Yeah, but but looking at them, so you get like there's the the static ones that we're looking at there. They come like that, but then they have versions that you can basically kit bash. Yeah. No. So yeah, okay. Um, hmm. I mean, not, not not my month, but if they had a uh, like a maybe give me a null month, and I can make ten different nulls out of you know like this one dude. This is yeah, that, this would actually good it. if they had some like standard looking hero guys almost, mm -hmm. because then you could definitely be like, oh my dude's using a trident right now or uh, whatever, and you could like keep, keep kit bashing your dude different ways almost. Yeah. Cripple God Foundry. Um, we have a ten dollar option here. You get some cool stuff. Look, you scroll down. You get this month. Uh, you get the welcome pack and you get the hero pack, they show you right there, in your face. Mm -hmm. Boom. Give us $10, you get a bunch of cool stuff. Big fans. Um, let's talk about how they gave us an image in color. Pretty cool. I mean, obviously it's showing it all painted up. Um, it's sweet. Yeah. Um, the theme of February is Mountain War. Bone and flesh. So this is your flesh right here. The yeah, giant saggy booby with two uh yeah, two breastfeeding. Yeah, I mean at least they're curious enough to not show the nipple, right? They just <laughs> show the children hanging off of it. Um, I like this dude back here. Uh, this dude has like a like a cauldron oh. of like food cooking off of him. That's looks like it's people. Um, let's see if I can find a better picture. Oh, I got some cool looking terrain. They definitely do. Definitely have some cool looking terrain here. An ogre gate and wall. I mean, yeah. Like ogre camp. You're going to make an ogre camp right here. This yeah. is pretty cool. This is quite cool. Um. Ah, here we go. That's what I was looking for. All right. High res photo. Looks good. Uh. Wow, I didn't even see this. The dude strapped to his chest before. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. A uh, handful of heads, large axe looking thing. Uh, triceratops skull. <laughs> this is a pretty uh, dope little... Uh, I see you. Mammoth little skulls. Here. I mean, they these are super detailed and just like out there ogres. Like if you want to run ogres... Or something. These are your ogres. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, like that grosses me out. Like you know, a mini's good when like the the dry skin fungus looking thing. It legitimately makes my skin crawl a little bit. You get bonus points for that. They definitely did these up good by putting them in color too, so you can see like this is what we're going for. I'm uh I'm curious to see if uh some other companies see this because i mean these just look so much more appealing yeah i mean obviously like, these like, are still like three these are a dwarf with a rock like uh-huh yeah you're not i mean these are see that. these are definitely i mean they're obviously still 3d renders so it's not like it's a print that they painted but still just the fact that they were like hey we'll put color on our renders yeah okay dwarf queen Got like a cannon thing. Bag of balls. <laughs> Bag of cannonballs. That's, that's that's pretty cool. This is a wild month. Oh my god. It's brutal. This is yeah. a brutal and awesome. This is some good looking stuff. Mm-hmm. Dropping pizza pieces of parts in his uh, blood cauldron there. Yeah, just slopping over the edges. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. The skin rips. Ogre mom. That's so gross. Thankfully, oh. she has the skin flap. <laughs> yeah. Some more pictures of what we've seen. And, ooh, they're customizable, too. Hmm. Are there any, That's pretty. Are there any ogres in uh, Ninth Age? There is, are. yes. 
but there are. I mean, this is a pretty cool month for doing some ogres. I mean, yeah, if you're running some like ninth age or even something else, you I mean you just you can work them in. Interesting. Because um, really, too, if you do if you do something with ogres, even as like a D and D thing, you don't need many to make them difficult. Yeah. Well, oh, for sure. D Huh. Um. Great welcome pack. Uh, great hero pack, which, you know, we've showed this before. We got some of that welcome pack here. It's maybe slightly more painted as it was before. I put a little white airbrushing on this wing because, nope, this wing, because I had white left over and I was doing something else. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm going to hit these guys. I think I'm going to wait for the... Uh, Speed paints to come in to get after these guys. Okay, Cripple God, you're uh you're not getting eliminated. I didn't know I wanted ogres. Now I kind of want ogres. Arch Archville, uh, blood blood in the water. I mean that's their month. I mean they do a great job too of just displaying them up mm -hmm. on the top. Um, lots of scary sharks and anglers and blood yeah, in the water. Uh, ten bucks. Like a um, deep sea adventure to hell. Okay. Yep. The shark has two eyes. On one side, I should say. Most sharks have two eyes, but yeah. Um. Kind of a, a like, like a, a dragon water ball Z dragon. Like a, like a water dragon or something, yeah. Lots of dopeness here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think it's safe to say that they're gonna they're gonna stay in the conversation for the, oh, yeah. the rest of the month. For here. sure, they do. I mean, I think every month we look at these guys, they always have some cool looking models. I mean, not always ones that we're gonna be like looking at to to get, but it's just like okay, you know, we're about to go thirty thousand leagues under the sea here, mm -hmm. and and then they throw in heroes. They do all these evilness, and then there's like, hey, here's you know. A few heroes. Here's a guy with fire. Good thing uh, he's not <laughs> going to fight everybody underwater. Yep. yep. These guys definitely going to stay in the conversation. It's just overall gorgeousness. Mm -hmm. Yep. They're such good looking models. Um. And then we got this one. We have we, no idea how to pronounce it. Yeah. Gamak. 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 No um, idea. We got a 10. Oh, so we have a 10 fantasy tier. We have a 10 sci-fi tier, and we got a 17.50 for both. Hmm. Okay, okay. So whatever, uh, this might be a new one. So whatever basically you're fancying. Yeah, I, f I believe this is a new one. Um, okay, so there's fantasy release right yeah. there. All right, so giant demon looking dude. Mm -hmm. Big fan. Uh, Like a... It's like a He-Man, like He-Man on yeah. his Thundercat or whatever it is. Yeah. Some good looking stuff, like these Spartan looking. Oh, Jesus, the size of that boat is ridiculous. Great. We're not going to talk about how him riding some mythical saber tooth cat is ridiculous. We're going to talk about the size of a bow. Right. Yeah. He's got a crossbow that's taller than he is. Yeah. How dare he? Uh, okay. We have like 10 pictures of an owl. All right, little kit bash option for this dude. Some heads. Can Throw some cool? heads in. Maybe they're all like that. I don't know. Perhaps. But they're showcasing it. And different pose. Really two different pose. Same model, different poses. I'm a fan. Because mm -hmm. that, that leads to, like, army building. If you want to. Yeah. Um, February sci-fi preview. So we may, they... not, we may not have the sci-fi release yet. What's your preview look like? If uh, oh well, what's that right there? Oh, January. All right, sci-fi preview. Um, yeah, obviously, guns. And these it's look like, like they could be used for uh, you know, we got some crosses and stuff on them. So your uh, sister, Warhammer mm -hmm. chicks. Um, got some. Looks like Deathcore. I think they're, they're making these look like almost like the like Kriegsmen mm -hmm. that are, wear gas masks all the time and 
I mean, obviously they're guardsmen, but that okay, that's a pretty cool walker. Yeah. Just some basic nice, tanks. Nice snowplow. Mm hmm. Those could come in handy about right now. <coughs> uh, yep, yeah, some. Like a captain. It's a little bit of weapon variation option here. Same there. Uh, that is obviously the uh, sci-fi fantasy. or the fantasy. Yep. yep. Okay, so yeah, let's let's not eliminate them just because I want to see what they uh, do at the end of the yeah. Month. I, yeah, I do too. I think that's I th I like. I mean, this is kind of one of the reasons why we are doing it like this. They have, they're obviously showing like two parts, of hey, this is now, and then later in the month is something else. Um, they have two different welcome packs. Uh, I'm not seeing what any of these welcome packs are. See what their January fantasy look like just for fun. Uh, Dragon Riders, awesome. Okay, so looking at these guys, looking at them as you, the they're definitely going for like that Age of Sigma, um, uh, Stormcast Eternals, but just like changing it up a little bit because like the Stormcast they have models similar to this where they have like Dragon Riders and they kind of have that like Spartan aesthetic, but they're like bigger. Um. I like and that, that they, throw the, yeah. they throw the size on this 50 mm -hmm. by 40. Yep. Okay. Yeah, let's leave on the conversation. I want to see I want to see the fire at the end of the month here. Mm -hmm. See what yeah. the sci-fi is. I don't think I'm interested, but I'm interested in seeing what you got there, Gamak. Uh, I would appreciate in a pronunciation on that <laughs> also. And then Old Faithful here. Epic in their 200 miniatures that you get every month, which it's just crazy. It's just crazy. It's a sheer sheer volume of stuff. Um so here is the whoa, what do we got going on here? Oh I am zoomed in hundreds of percentages. Here we go. Alright, um Yeah, sheer volume here. Uh let me find a better way to do this. Alright, there we go. Um, we have, uh, some demon lord, some giant undead thing, another undead thing, some undead minotaurs. Mm. Yeah. Um. Some uh, basic skelly boys, some, uh, uh. Spine devil. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a play on a spine devil from 5e. Um, some more, Yeah. Awesome looking undead skelly boys. Whatever this chick is. Um, I can't tell what those are supposed to be. I think they're, they're, like I think they're uh, death knights in the mm. monster manual. Okay. I mean, they're cool. Yeah. They're definitely cool. Grim Reaper looking dudes. Can't go wrong there. Um, uh, what are these called? It's like a golem. Golem made up of like dead bodies all mushed together, sort of thing. That's terrifying. Mm -hmm. no. So gross looking. Like it this picture, can... this it... picture back here makes it worse. It has cankles. Oh, it's disgustingly awesome. Um, some more. Oh, this might be a spine devil. I have to go. I have to look at a spine devil. That they have. Some cool stuff going on. They got some cool stuff going on. Um, the other half, uh, we got a, like a very can... Japanese style dragon, Chinese style. Sorry, I don't know. Uh, whatever. The Asian aesthetic. Yes. Um, some turtle, turtle guys. Turtle, turtle folk. Uh, this, that. Oh, he's got like um. It's like a traditional Japanese mask on a Habuka, oh, okay. a Habuka mask, maybe is what it's called. Don't quote me on that. I know they tattoo very well. Um, ghost? Oh yeah, it's like a ghost, like a undead mm -hmm. Japanese looking chick. Um, this thing, awesome. Whatever it is, it's awesome. Some player character warrior right there. Yep. Uh, or whatever. Some f samurai fish folk awesome uh, another samurai option um what was that movie called 
mm, how to train your dragon in 10 days i don't know no i can't think of it what i i don't even know if i ever saw it, it was like a popular book when we were little but whatever it's another um culturally specific dragon the basket head uh yeah. did you watch legion yes the basket head looking people that were super weird like the mm -hmm. they were girls with mustaches i don't know uh samurais you can't go wrong with samurais samurais are always awesome um some geishas right there yeah cool looking npc option probably uh this whatever this is awesome sumo samurai looking dude in massive samurai house so much there's just so much from epic yeah and then, and it... throwback infernal islands which i mean i don't know freddy's raptors fire giants lava crocodiles phoenix, phoenix. uh volcano sound just so much stuff i mean you can never take epic out of uh out of the conversation either so all right this uh video is going on way longer than intended <laughs> Thank you to anyone who's still sticking around. So it looks like we have uh, Asgard, Artisan, Titanforge, Daybreak, Cripple God, Archvillain, Gamak, and Epic that we will be coming back here in a couple weeks and picking a final winner. Um, we're not going to spend any more of your time because I certainly don't want to spend any more of mine. Thank you to everyone for hanging out, and we'll see you in a couple weeks. See yeah, ya. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.